So today, you might have guessed, we're going to talk about triangles. I hope you guys are seeing how all this fits together. Um, I'll continue to try and hit that um, the commonalities of this chapter, so then you don't have to worry about uh, you know all that much. So let's talk about triangles. These are some vocabulary words from your past. We have an acute triangle. An acute triangle is a triangle that has three acute angles. All angles less than 90 degrees. A right triangle has an angle with one right triangle and two acute triangles. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle and two acute triangles. Do you notice that for each triangle there are always at least two acute triangles and we classify them by their third angle. If that third angle is acute, causing all three acute angles, then that would be an acute triangle. If that third angle is a right triangle, that a right angle, that makes it a right triangle. And if that third angle is an obtuse angle, that makes an obtuse triangle. So this is how you classify a triangle by angles. What other way could you classify triangles? You guessed it, by sides. So there's three ways to be able to do this also. There's the equilateral triangle. Now an equilateral triangle has three congruent or equal sides. Then there's the isosceles triangle, which is easily the most fun triangle to say. And it has two equal sides. And the third side, this one right here, is just not equal to the others. In this situation, all three sides are equal. Here, only two sides are equal. And have you guessed what the third one's going to be? Probably not the name, scalene triangle. But you probably did guess that that's going to mean no equal sides or three different sides, length sides. All right, so that's how you uh, classify a triangle. You can classify it by angle, and you can classify it by side. We want you to be able to do both. So let's take a look. If you look at this one, do you notice I have one acute, two acute, like always, and what's the third one? It's a right angle. So this is a right triangle, and I have one side and two sides that are equal, and then one side that's longer. So that makes it isosceles. All right, you guys try this one. All right, hopefully you notice that all three angles are the same. That would make it an equilateral. Excuse me, all three sides are the same, so that would make it an equilateral. And all three angles are under 90 degrees. They're all acute, so it would be an acute triangle. So by sides, equilateral. By angles, it is called acute. Now there's another name for this one that you'll see in your book. If all the angles are exactly the same, we call that equiangular, which also is kind of fun to say. All right, so these angle measurements of a triangle. There's a neat pattern here. Your elementary school teacher may have done this for you, so let me just say, I must say that a lot of things, geometry loves things that equal 180 degrees. Think of the straight angle, it's 180 degrees. Think of supplementary angles, they're 180 degrees. Now, think about triangles. What would you say if I said that all triangles have three angles that up to 180 degrees? I can prove it to you. Watch this. Here's a triangle, and here's a straight angle. We all agree a straight angle equals 180? Hope so. All right, so if I took this triangle, and I copied and pasted, and I took this corner, and I placed it right next to it, and I took this corner, and I placed it right next to it, it would line up perfectly. It means that all three of these angles, angle A, B, and C, would add up to 180 degrees. Does it work with no matter what triangle you pick? Yes. If you want to try it at home, find a triangle and get some scissors and see if they line up to make a straight line. It happens every single time. So how can we use this information? Well, just like with supplementary angles, what if I had some numbers? Could I figure out what the missing number is? Sure, because these three angles add up to 180 degrees. So 38 plus 70 plus x equals 180 degrees. Combine those numbers together and then subtract. You find out that the missing number is 72 degrees. All right, here we go. Hey, they only told me what one of the angles was. Ah, they tricked you. Do you know what uh, number 
goes with this angle? Did you pick 90? Good. Now again, you just add and subtract. And you get your answer. Can we make it a little more complex? Sure. What if I had an x here and an x here? Well, if I know my algebra, this is no big deal. I write out 40 plus x plus x. x plus x is 2x. I subtract 40, subtract 40. And I divide by 2 and divide by 2. Simple two-step algebra, isn't it? Now do you know why your teacher wanted you to know two-step algebra so well? You guys, try this one. It's your challenge. All right, I'm back. Did you get 10x equals 18? When you divided by 10, did you get x equals 18? If you did, awesome job. And if not, that's okay. Do you know how to do it now? All right, now, if x equals 18, how much does 2x equal? You're right, 36. What about 4x? You're right, 72. Could you classify this triangle? Notice, I have equal side, equal side, not equal side, isosceles. All three angles are under 90 degrees, acute, and acute isosceles. All right, and that's it, guys. Um, again, if you've got any questions, make sure to ask your teacher.